best buys. Mary had just finished her homework one Wednesday afternoon when she saw her Auntie Sheila's big red bucky stop in a cloud of dust outside her house. Mary! Auntie Sheila bellowed from the open window. Mary ran outside quickly because she knew no one ever wasted Auntie Sheila's time. She had a loud voice and was not scared to use it. Yes, Auntie Sheila, Mary said as she ran toward the bucky. Auntie Sheila snapped at Mary. Hop in, girl. I need help with loading up some stock for my spaza shop. It's Wednesday madness sale at my suppliers. Come on, stop wasting time. Jump in. Well, Mary did just that. Auntie Sheila didn't speak much along the way, but preferred to sing along loudly to all the songs playing on the radio. Mary didn't mind too much because Auntie Sheila bought her a pie and a juice when they stopped along the way to fill up with petrol. The trip took forever, but finally they reached Auntie Sheila's special supplier. People had traveled from far and wide, just like them, to take advantage of all the special offers. Once the goods were paid for, Mary helped load the bucky full of stock for Auntie Sheila's spaza. They started making their way back home, but this time Auntie Sheila did not turn the radio on. Knowing that it was still a long road ahead, with no music too, Mary was getting a bit bored. Auntie Sheila, however, was grinning from ear to ear. You know what makes me happy, girl? She blurted out in the middle of dead silence. Mary jumped at the sudden loud voice. Um, no. What, Auntie Sheila? Making money, my girl. Making money, she said in a near whisper. <laughs> a few minutes ticked by in the silent bucky. Mary wished her aunt would turn the radio on and sing along because even that was better than the awkward silence. Do you know how much I just paid for a liter of cooking oil? Auntie Sheila blurted out. No, Auntie, how much? Mary obliged. Ten rand. That is two rand cheaper than I would have paid if I'd bought it at our local hyper store where other spaza owners buy their stock. Ha! <laughs> Idiots! She beamed at the thought of her own brilliance. She continued. That means the oil cost me 10 rand per litre and I will sell it at 15 rand per litre at my shop and make 5 rand profit on each bottle. Brilliant! <laughs> Mary bit hard on her tongue trying to avoid being drawn into this conversation. But because Mary had learned all about Best Buys at school, she felt that she just had to say something. Um, Auntie Sheila, she whispered, hoping not to be heard. Yes, girl, speak up if you want to be heard in life, her auntie instructed. Um, should we not first add your expenses to the cost of the cooking oil before working out the selling price? Mary asked cautiously. What? <laughs> What expenses? Auntie Sheila asked inquisitively. Well, like the 500 rand you paid for petrol to travel so far to buy the oil, Mary replied. Oh, those expenses. Well, um, uh, yes, I, I suppose so, Auntie Sheila said slowly while thinking about this new idea. Who made you so clever then? Auntie Sheila asked with a surprised look. Well, we did a lesson on best buys. Sometimes the cheapest price doesn't mean it's the best buy because you might have to travel far or it might be a poor quality product, Mary said with confidence. Oh my word, well they didn't teach me anything like that back in my day, Auntie Sheila said as she realized what Mary had said was quite true. Well, Mary, it looks like you can show this old aunt a thing or two. Would you please teach me how to work out my best buys? Auntie Sheila asked in a gentle voice. 
But of course, Auntie Sheila, we can do that tomorrow afternoon, beamed Mary, who felt proud that she could help her loud Auntie Sheila. The red bucky came to a halt with a cloud of dust as usual on the pavement outside Mary's house. James, Mary's father, had already arrived home from work and came out to greet his sister and daughter. Well, James, I guess you're never too old to learn. <laughs> Bye! Auntie Sheila announced loudly to the neighborhood as she pulled off again. What was that all about, Mary? Dad asked. Mary sighed with a twinkle in her eye and replied, It's a long story, Dad. A long story. Let's go inside and I'll explain.